I know it. Um, first of all, first things first, I wanted to say uh, hats off to Philip Knight for cutting an amazing trailer. Philip, where you at? I'm going to keep this brief. Um, basically, I'm just a kid from Brooklyn, um, albeit a 39-year-old kid is you know, much of a kid it can be at 39. Um, but I love Rochester. I came here in the uh, mid-90s to attend medical school at the U of R, and uh, I tried to go home to the city um, back in 1999 and came back to Rochester to uh, complete my training. Uh, but one of the things that I wanted to do uh, was give back to the city, which has given me so much. I mean, my Professional life started here, uh, my community life started here, uh, more importantly, my own family life is starting here in Rochester. So uh, this project was a way of giving back to the city that I really hold in such a high esteem and hold very dearly to myself. Uh, and what we've done was uh, invite uh, some artists from all over the world to come to Rochester. We believe that uh, Rochester is a place worth sharing. And so I'm sharing it with the world and inviting talent to work with our local talent to make the city uh, more beautiful, that's the aim, uh, to add imagery to the image city. Uh, so to accomplish that end, um, this project uh, was my brainchild, but nonetheless, it's like a special kind of child. It's a child that has uh, surrogate parents, has got aunts, uncles, uh, guardian angels, which love it as much as I do. And so uh, this is what you see as a result of having uh, that kind of community support. But to talk a little bit about the Census Collaborative, which is the <laughs> Uh, the organization behind this, uh, what we are is a, a medical uh, imaging nonprofit. And what we're endeavoring to do is to uh, deploy imaging systems throughout the developing world uh, that would actually uh, allow images to be read by a network of volunteer radiologists that we're recruiting across the world. Essentially, we have radiologists from the UK to the Emirates to Japan to the United States are ready to read images uh, that we acquire in the developing world, but it's uh, kind of like we're growing a tree, uh, but a tall tree is only as strong as its root system, and the roots are here in Rochester, so I'm trying to really grow uh, this, this tree, this amazing tree of potential uh, here with uh, community support. So uh, it's all academic until the first uh, site is done, and that's what we're endeavoring to do. Uh, but nonetheless, um, this is what the, uh, the overall uh, overarching goal of the organization is. Uh, so a lot of people ask me, you know, what's the, the link between uh, mural art and, and medical imaging? And if you think about it, you know, as the uh, trailer showed, a little, little uh, text, uh, uh, art enhances life. And so uh, medical images, which can facilitate the diagnosis and treatment of disease, can also facilitate the preservation of life. Uh, so but the imagery is the common thread. Uh, so medical images which facilitate diagnosis and, and images which enhance the life experience. So imagery is a common thread. So that's the, uh, the commonality between two seemingly disparate ideas, medical imaging and mural art. Uh, also, some of the artists that you've seen uh, will, be, will be taking the journey with us uh, around the world as we uh, serve these communities. They'll uh, create murals uh, in these communities as well. So our interventions in these two will be two-tiered in these uh, communities that we serve. It'll be in the form of mural art, it'll also be in the form of medical imaging, which is uh, going to be shared across the world for uh, volunteers to, to serve as, as uh, physicians for communities in need. Uh, so that's essentially it. Uh, as far as you know, what we're doing, we're working on an augmented reality project, which will explain a lot more about what we're doing and why, and uh, talk about uh, the arts uh, in more detail. There's a uh, longer, documentary, albeit a short one, 30 minutes or so, which uh, uh, Philip Shore is cutting now. Uh, but uh, that's, that's what's coming down the line. Uh, but honestly, uh, the art that's in the community was definitely is done you know, as, a, as, a, as a way of me saying thanks to the community that I love. Uh, and so uh, to achieve that end, this is what we've done with, some great, with a great team. Uh, any of the Census Collaborative uh, wall therapy team uh, in attendance, can you please stand? I want to you know, thank you all. folks who helped me get this crazy idea that I had in my head to bring artists from, you know, tens of thousands of miles away uh, to Rochester. And the idea would have stayed in my head if it were not for these talented folks and these very dedicated individuals 
who helped to bring, bring this idea to fruition. So hats off to them because it's, those are the real heroes you see just now. Uh, this is an idea which started with me, but it would stay in my head if not if it wasn't for them. Uh, so I definitely appreciate that, that help. But um, that's essentially what we have to offer. Uh, medicine is a very unforgiving uh, mistress. I do have to go back to work. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, uh, thank you so much. Uh, the, the streets are talking very colorfully on these walls. So uh, uh, keep an open mind. Thank you.